Ah, uh, the red. He's not going to fluke the red, surely. And look with the pink sitting. Can you get your breath? That is quite incredible because the pink being knocked up to where it is, if he pots the pink in the colours, he can nick the frame by a point. Absolutely amazing what's just happened there. I mean, he's played the shot well because he's tried to, you know, use the green and blue as a covering ball, but to knock the red in, wow. Now having avoided contact with the black, nicely on the yellow, Seven. perfect. Need another good positional shot here. A bit more difficult now to play the shot he just played with the pink being on the spot. But how cruel can this game be at times? What a wonderful shot Martin Gall played. Got no reward from it whatsoever and could potentially lose the frame. You feel just one good positional shot from Yan Bing Tao. And he's a strong favourite to take this frame. And that looks pretty good. Nine. Lights have been a bit closer to the green, but I think he can reach this. Well, this will be a cruel blow for Martin Gould. Twelve. I mean, the previous frame when he made the 50 break, I was a bit unlucky to arc the cue ball and not open the reds. He would have only been one frame behind. But to see this happen and every chance he could fall four frames behind with that last red that uh, Yan Bing Tao potted, well, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing what can happen at this 16. game. Twenty one. Down goes the pink. 27. The most straightforward of blacks. And this is a crushing blow for Martin Gould. In it goes. What yeah, a steal, Yan Bing Tao. Hit by a fluke on the last red. That could be a telling blow. It now leads nine frames to five. Just one away from victory. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.